Salutations, this is your boy D-Boom for LLE Ascension, a.k.a. LLE Astrology, a.k.a. LLE Tarot, and I'm um, coming to you with part three of four, which is Divine Feminine's Karmic Situation <clears throat> for April 29th to May 6th. So, of course, we're going to have the union right after this. I uh, was going to strictly do astrologies today, but, you know... Somebody sent me a little heads up. It was just a message for me to feed the collective real quick. You know what I'm saying? At least some stuff y'all really... <laughs> y'all wanted to see it to you. Sorry I get it here. And I promise. I'm a, like, I'm off today. So I'm really going to try to make it my duty to at least do fire and, like, water today. You know, hopefully I can get three in. But I know I'm going to be drained. Like, rogue after she touches you and shit. You know what I mean? By the end of the day. Because... It's been one of them days, you know what I mean? I only did like four readings yesterday, and I did two live readings, and um, like I said, it was cool. Good readings, though, good readings, so I'm going to try to fit a live reading in today. Hopefully, we'll see, but other than that, if you need a, uh, a reading from me, just click on the link below. Once again, do not book on the site. I haven't updated it since January second pound lacking, you know what I mean? First time I created it, it's still the same stuff, so the price is on there. Are different services on there are different this is different so please do not book through the site just send me an email i got my email down there i think i should if not i'm gonna put it on there and i'll tell you everything you need to do uh for me to get through with you so i don't think i have any other ranch you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna get, I'm gonna get straight into it <clears throat> divine feminine's karmic situation you know what i'm saying Let's see what the energies is popping around here. You know. Two threes. Bottom and top. Two queens. And uh, we got justice in here. We got raw power in here. We got wounded warrior in here. Lucy Lou definitely on deck. <laughs> and you know where she at. <laughs> so yeah. Let get straight to it. All right. Off top. Three of Pentacles. This is the engagement card. This is the engaging card. This is the... I take it as this motherfucking engagement just popping out of nowhere. You just... Uh, what? Uh, you know what I mean? Don't even know how to handle this situation for some. Not all. I just take this as like... You know, I don't have my other cards. The Vegas cards, because it'll show literally three pinnacles, and in that case, it will literally be like a like a road that you jump over to get over this little bridge here. It's like, you know, you're jumping, you know, if you were a frog jumping on lily pads, you know, that's how you're jumping. You're jumping from one thing to the next, the next thing to the end, but you got to make sure you can't fall within those cracks because it's going to set you back or it's just going to be hell coming back up. Bottom line, three of cups. Karmic situation, yeah, I mean, um, you know, third party joint, third party energy. I mean, I don't really have to expand, you know. It is what it is right now. So, coming to the situation, the wide feminine, you are the knight of swords. So, you're coming, I mean, since, you know, Lucy Lou is on deck, and it's two queens, and they're both in your field. Actually, you just spoil the shit out your shit. This is the Divine Feminine spread. Mm. So. She's not playing. I mean. And this masculine's got high energy too though. He's got good high vibrations. High frequencies too though. But. I just take it as going to be a showdown. Just briefly looking. And it's engagement too. Showdown. So, at any rate, nice swords. This is moving without crossing your T's, dying your eyes, uh, jumping to conclusions, kind of rolling in an immature energy. But that, this is like I say, this is like a past rope. You're coming to the situation with this, so, you know, it's going to linger longer than anything else. But, you know, you do have a king, queen, queen that's moving along before this. So, it's like, 
you've been in royal energy. This is just to me like, in a sense, like the masculine purging, but it's not purging negative energies. This is more so as ironing out uh, past mistakes, ironing out, um, tying loose ends, you know, crossing your T's and dying your eyes. So I'll take it. As far as this, uh, Karg masculine coming to the situations, the wounded warrior, uh, hurt, you know what I mean? Salty, whatever, what have you. Uh, but like I say, it's part of the Tracenta situation here. Upper, upper, upper energies, bottom energies. Like it's part of the whole left out shit, you know? Mr. Lonely on out, like Akon, you know what I'm saying? It's Mr. Lonely, you know what I'm saying? So going to the feminine in regards to herself, she's in psychic mode. Psychic mode. Number one, because she's got to be. Number two, this frequency, this energy, this whole realm, dimension, you know, this whole space, divine in is, is in regards to herself is a good space, but it's really just, I take it as her growing in her powers. You're just growing your powers, perfecting your skills, you're perfecting your craft, like the craft, perfecting your craft, you know what I mean? Getting your mojo together, you know what I mean? I just take it as like, you got your mojo back and you're just maintaining that and keeping that together because you don't want to lose this and you know this is crucial and pivotal to A, stay on good frequency, which you have, moving on, moving forward. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm tweaking. I just forgot the whole order of my stuff. It's not a... Um, whatever's closer to the left, which is the past, and the right is the future energy, it, it drops quick. So it drops like this. So, yeah, you're you're good. You know what I mean? It's like, this is going to drop first, and you're going to stay in this. And then you're going to be in the Lucy Lou, and you're going to stay in that. It goes this way. I thought it went the other way. I had a brain fart. I'm sorry. At any rate, this, this energy is going to drop very fast, this immature energy, because it's pretty much tied to this. And it's like you don't want to keep doing this anymore. Uh, what's that song uh, by Rihanna? That song that blew her up. This is when her and Tierra Marie was like neck to neck. Tierra dropped that that classic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was that song? Uh, I think it was Girlfield or something like that. You know what I mean? They both got on Def Jam at the same time. But Rihanna came with that. Uh, ooh, what's that song that I don't want to do this anymore? Um... I don't want to be a murderer, that whole little thizzle. I can't believe I can't remember the name of the song. My sister used to play that shit all the time. That's the theme song going on right here. And I mean, and you're singing the whole Rihanna bit, and it's just, you're not feeling that anymore. Just like the song. So, going back to this psychic card, this intuition card, this is the feeling that you're getting, is this whole demo right here. And it's not eating at you, it's just making you a little uncomfortable. So, you're just moving on apically. As far as the masculine in regards to you, it's the eight of swords. So I just take this as, like I say, self-imposed prison. This is like self-limitation, not wanting to move on, not wanting to change. You know, just kind of holding on to a situation that's pretty much two steps from the ten. You know, what I mean, two steps from the ten. Because if you think about it, everything from this point is all bad. At least here, you have a chance to let yourself out of the prison that you put yourself in. You know what I'm saying? But instead, he's going to just literally sit and rock. Because you're going to go from the eight of swords to the nine of swords, which is stressed out, losing sleep, losing weight, losing hair. And I mean, then it's the ten of swords to where it's a wrap. Or shit is really over or the death card. And we don't really want to go there. So, Lucy Lou. This is the Divine Feminine in regards to this karmic masculine here. Just like the masculine. Like, she's making her move and putting her blue blockers on, you know, to stay cool. She's not going to break characters. She's not going to switch plans. She's not going to renege on shit over here, you know? So, it's just you, you, you got the blue blockers on keeping the move. And straight like that. Straight like that. And in regards to himself, this card kind of masculine is kind of on the tough love bit, you know what I mean? The, uh, I guess, pent bit, you know what I mean? Trying to play shit off like it's kind of not what it is. But you know why. You know what I mean? You're psychic over here. You know, I mean, like I say, you're, 
you know everything about the situation, how it's going to end. You knew what it was in the beginning. So it's, like I say, once again, the whole, the whole psychic bit. Going to your future, divine feminine. We got the justice card. This is the king of swords. So this is like, like I say, karma, K, karma, K, you know, just pretty much wrapping this up. So maybe speeding up. I take this. <laughs> Spirit is like, like, you know what I'm saying? Hurry up. Speed it up. Like, speed the process up. Like, it's still being not prolonged. I mean, it's coming. Justice is here. So obviously God is stepping in. You're getting ready to step in and do what he needs to do. Because you just, you know what I mean? You're just lollygagging. And like I say, because of lollygagging, you get smacked. Not too hard. Like he's smacking the masculine, but just a little bow bow. You know what I'm saying? Just a little, 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 little tap. Not too, not too major. Okay? Because the justice is in your position. This is in your future. So, like I say, this is karma. So, like I say, if union was on the rise, God is setting that up, and you're just leaving this karmic situation to that, it's like, like I say, finishing your uh, probation. Finishing your, you know, being off parole. You know what I mean? Being out the jam, you know what I'm saying? Just free, just free, you know what I mean? Just free, you know what I'm saying? Not free to lollygag and do BS, but free to maneuver. And as far as karmic, fem um, karmic mass, excuse me, going in the future, it's the Ace of Swords. So this is just raw power mixed with one big ass decision. Because like I said, once the show is over, it's time to pick another channel, or find a new show. Or when your season, whatever's your flavor, goes off and you got to wait till next season, you got to find another show to entertain you. Clarification time. Clarification time. So, clarifying this immature energy, this Knight of Swords energy, the Divine Feminine has coming into the situation, you got the Nine of Pentacles. So, I can say, <laughs> same situation. With the divine masculine, like I said, you're at the cusp. You're at the the, 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 the very cusp of, of, of finishing your whole demonstration here, and you want to joke around, jack off. You no, know? you want to play. You no, know? because you don't like. It's not like you're failing this demo, right? But you're just see this plane. I just take it as jet lagged, jet lagged, and I take it as turbulence. Okay, jet lag like. The shit is wore you down to the point where you're just you're just jet lag, you know what I mean? And when you come to and get ready to, you know, move around, you'll do that. So still kind of prolonging stagnation. Or I take this as turbulence coming. Feel me? And what is turbulence? That shit pops out of nowhere and it's unexpected. It's gonna be a little well, whatever. Either him triggering you or you triggering him, even though he's not your twin, but like I say, you guys have a lot of pinnacles going on. You're sharing the same space and shit. You know what I mean? Plus, you're at, you're ready to go. You're 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 ready, set, go. And to most, you're literally waiting on whatever you're waiting on. Your last little pinnacle could be you're waiting on this job to come through so you can make your move, or waiting on your car to get fixed so you can get the fuck rolling, or waiting on your place to get set up so you can go on dip set. You know, either way, you're you're on, you're going. But since you know you dipping, and since everything is at the cusp, that's why you kind of laxed, kind of lacking, pound lacking. You know what I'm saying? It's like walking around the shop, which I don't really approve of people walking with headphones around here because you're really not telling what's going on. And I mean, you can at least have it on super low, have one of them pieces on. Don't put, you know what I mean? But like me, I'll put them both on and don't have no music on. Either way, be aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 what you need to do. Be totally aware. Okay? So, clarify this wounded warrior that this karmic masculine has. He's in his head. Usually when men are in their head, they're idle-minded. Usually when they're idle-minded, they ain't really got shit to do. Usually when they ain't got shit to do, they find shit to do. And usually the shit that they find to do is shit that's not helping shit. So, this could be overanalyzing, overthinking peeping you because he ain't really doing too much and just peeping your moves and not in your shit, questioning you what's going on, what are you doing, why are you packing your shit up, woo-woo. It's just more so like 
to jump it out the deep end. Just like I say, he's just he's idle minded, so his mind is roaming triple time. Than it was before, and it's, you feel that too. You <laughs> you sense that too. Your spider senses your spider senses tingle with that. Verifying this psychic card, though, we got the seven of pentacles. So once again, rebuilding. You know what I mean? You're, you're rebuilding your chi, or you built your chi, and now you're ready to get to the eight of pentacles. So you know what I mean? You can get to that nine, which you're already at, really. <laughs> it's like you had to come down a couple levels to really. Like I bet, take it just like this. You're at a nine of pentacles, right? Almost at the cusp of where you need to go. You pull a jack move, right? Sets you back, knocks you down two pentacles. You feel me? Now you're in psychic mode. Double time to really either A, build your pentacles, or in psychic mode, double time to B, you build yourself. You know what I mean? Get yourself mentally ready to make these moves you need to make. Because it's like you're losing power being in this karmic situation. You're losing divinity slowly. like Not like the, the masculine loses it. You know. But you is like a leak. It's like air out your tire that's slowly leaking out and you're still driving on it. Straight like that. Clarifying this eight of swords. You know what I'm saying? The self-imposed prison this masculine is in. You know, karmic masculine is in. He's in the dark night itself. Dark night of the soul. And this is under this. See them seven of pentacles and them triple sevens over there? Like I said, so now he see you building. And all that building is like dancing around his head. Like, why is she building? Who is she building for? She ain't building on me. Why? This, why that? It's like little circles of cartoon sevens going around his head, and he's just sitting, driving himself crazy, thinking about everything except himself or herself, themselves. You know, instead of handling the situation mature, they're going, they're going a whole other route with it. Lucy Lou, <laughs> clarifying this Lucy Lou card. Get that young tennis swords. So you on business, and you know you need to do it. And it's like I say, it's that time. I ain't even gonna be ballsy and give out no time frames, but I can give some for some. For some, I say y'all doing this right here in the next two weeks, two, three, two to four weeks, two to four weeks. Y'all gonna be just dropping karmics like flies. As y'all should, but it's different. See, masculines or men like myself, you know, we got crows, <laughs> like few crows. You know what I'm saying? So when we drop them, it's nothing. It's like duck hunting. It's just pew, doo, doo, doo. we can just drop them from a distance and ain't really got to do too much, right? But you, be in whole relationships and shit, got a whole little business moves going on with men and shit, you know? Because you know, I mean, not all. I ain't gonna get on y'all like that. Because, you know, that's where the man and woman gets to arguing over what men, how we think y'all get y'all shit around when we think y'all really got extra help. I don't know. It's one of them things. I, man, so I do believe that women were born with, like, gold mines and born with ATM machines, you know what I'm saying, inside them and shit. And it's like, they're good. <laughs> like, y'all good for life, you know what I'm saying? Hey, daddies, make sure y'all straight. Y'all just got help. Y'all women. Y'all was supposed to get help, you know what I mean? But we're men, so we're assed out out here. I mean, you always think y'all got the upper hand. I do. I think y'all do. You know what I'm saying? I, I will argue because I'm going to leave all the conflict and shit. But anyway, anyway, you're making your move. And um, you got to be in a Lucy Lou energy to do it. And you got to keep your cool. Keep your blue blockers on while you're making this move. Don't, don't feel bad about this move. Don't even look back. Okay? You don't want to turn into a pillar of salt. Salt like Lot's wife. Because you're looking back and shit, that shit is dead. This is like, don't look back. That's what the shades is for. Just in case you do take a peek. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like looking at Medusa's face. At least you got shades on. At least kind of counter. If you get the, the urge to just take a peek, but don't even peek. Just keep it moving. Put the blue boxes on. Keep it moving. And keep it rolling. Straight like that. As far as this kind of masculine, in regards to myself, this is in the masculine's energy. You know? 
As far as his masculine, in regards to himself, we got the King of Cups, so. <laughs> Four of Wands. This is the Twin Flame Sign card. It's a Twin Flame Sign Synchronicity card. So, how I take this is like, <laughs> he's getting burnt on all ends. You know, it's like me and like three of my woldies each take lighters and burn each end of this mug. He's definitely going to burn to a crisp. You know what I mean? He's definitely going to be burned to a crisp. But it's a good burn. It's a good burn, you know. Just like the wine Aston burns you in his way and he doesn't know he's burning you like the whole dog on the couch analogy I had. It's like... It's the same. Except you're the dog. Okay? <laughs> you're the dog, and you're making a bigger mess. Why? Because like I said, it's a whole demonstration. It's not like you got crows and... I mean, yeah, it's not like you got crows and you shoot them out the sky like dog hunt from a distance. Because you don't deal with people from a distance. You deal with people directly. You engage. It's an engagement anyway. Like, off top, it's... You know what I mean? This is how you move. This is your your reading. Life and men. Our reading. You know? And it's like shit, you know? It's part of the plan. It's part of the game. That's why you need to just go ahead and cut this pinnacle and keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, it's just, he's getting burnt to a crisp over here. You know what I mean? And it's really burning him with like divine fire. So he's just going to turn into a phoenix after this. Not saying you're his twin or, or nothing like that. It's just you're definitely a catalyst. You're definitely a, a good karmic, a divine karmic that made this transformation happen. And I just take it as like at the end of the day, you're just going to make him better at the end of the day. You're just going to, next person that does arrive is going to be very treated, like treated very divine, like you were treated. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it wasn't like that from the gate, but look where it's at now. You know, look at the growth. You know what I mean? It might not be for you for later, but that's what the whole thing was for. Just the preparation to get him straight or her straight while you're getting yourself ready to get to where you got to get to. You know, packing up them bizags and just dip setting. Straight up. So, clarifying this king of sports, this justice card. We got the Decepticon card. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say. Letting the cow out the bag. You know what I mean? Finally pulling out that bowl of shit that's been just festering. That should have been threw out anyway, but you know. Letting the letting the, you know letting the, letting the dirt out the rug. Like sweeping the dirt from under the rug. You know what I mean? Clean out your closet. Like, you know what I mean? Any any analogy I can use on that type of sense. It's just really moment of truth and really taking the mask off, taking the blue blockers off. So you're not using the blue blockers to block off the blues that you're getting from the move, but taking off your blue blockers, your mask, you know what I'm saying, to really be free. You know what I'm saying? To really do what you need to do. Now you, you <laughs> now you can breathe. You it's like you've been waiting to exhale like the movie, and now you can do that. You can do it with your girls. You know what I'm saying y'all can have a whole little waiting to exhale party, some shit. You know, you know what I mean? You're free. You know? Yeah. Good news, but it's sad news too. But it's part of the, the demonstration, man. So we got the ace of swords. This is raw power in the karmic masculine's position. We got um the eight of cups, you know what I'm saying? Clarifying the ace of swords. So it's like eight of cups is the Patty Bell card, you know what I'm saying? It's on your own but classy, but you know. Classy part is the key part. That's the crucial part. That's the important part. And as long as he's keeping it classy, she's keeping it classy. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's raw power that they're stepping into embracing this. That's like, go ahead, do your thing. Like it was, you know. Goodbye. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. Finally, do your thizzle. You know what I'm saying? Because your master is doing it already. He was doing it. Even doing it with them. Because like I say, it's a different demo. You know, karmic... <laughs> I'm going to say this and I'm going to wrap this up. 
because I still got a couple cards to pick out. But you know, Carmen Massa situation, in my opinion, be like. Out of all of them crows he dealing with, just the crow he deals with the most. Doesn't live with her probably unless they do. I mean, cases defer, but like most. You know, single masculines out here. You know what I mean? Unmarried, unengaged masculines that you don't know of or do know of. But anyway, majority is like the main crow. That's the one they kind of have a title bout fight with, but it's a lot more crows that got to go before that crow. So. And like I said, he can actually be with the crow in the karma situation, but still not in nothing at all. Freedom. Free! That's what, you know, one of the luxuries of being a dude. It's bogus, you know what I'm saying, man? Not going up and then just dip set, you know what I'm saying? But we can do that shit. I mean, I, you should, but I'm, it happens every day, B. You know what I mean? Even with age, you know, age gracefully. By the time I get 60, I can still do that shit. Knock chick up and just... Freedom, you know what I'm saying? That's just come with the territory. Alright, so it's different demos. Each, even though it's a karmic situation, the divine masculines or the divine feminines is, is still different. Different dynamics. And there's different dynamics in the dynamics. And different dynamics within the dynamics of the dynamics. That's why you gotta be like a person like me that know how to analyze it and read through that. Shift through that. You know what I mean? So that's all this is. But in your dynamic, it's more of a personal level. It's more of a professional level. Pentacles are involved. You know what I mean? Real talk. Dick does not go that far. You know what I'm saying? Not as far as pussy, you know what I'm saying? So the honeypot, you know what I'm saying? The ATM machine, like it can go places that my shit cannot go. You know what I'm saying? I can go far. You know what I'm saying? But it's not gonna go as far as a feminine can go. And that's real spit there, dun dun. And because you're because you can go far, it involves a lot of partnerships. It involves a lot of business moves, a lot of suitors, a lot of a lot of stuff. Which is more complex, but at the same time, at tops, two, three tops, three is tops suitors. You know, you might have crows too, but you deal with higher quality echo lines of karmics other than the crows that the masculine deal with. And even in the masculine's karmic situation, that crow that that crow he can't let go of, that's usually the crow with the best with the ill nana, you know what I'm saying? It's usually the crow with the ill nana on some out that he just can't get enough of, and that's the karma situation. Not that he's in love with this chicken and all that shit. It's just that that's the best shit he's got popping right now. You feel me? So, of course he's going to stay with that. Of course he's, you know what I mean? Because it's not like the vines are running to, to get with him. <laughs> the vines? It's not like the vines are running to get with him, you know what I mean? So... We're right over with. Let's clear. Let's finish this up. You know what I'm saying? We got three of pinnacles up here. Engagement card. Clarifying engagement card. We got the full card. And full card is like new beginnings. You know what I'm saying? New endeavors. New situation. You know what I'm saying? You just got to engage your situation. And it's like literally packing what you need and just moving on. I just take it as that. Packing what you need and moving on. And the full card represents that. It's just you grabbing like shit. Uh, tool brush. You know, change the clothes, some little trinkets you might need, and maybe like a snack, and then you just, you gone. You just hop on a train and go to a whole different city or some shit like that. Like, that's the full card, a hobo. It's like a hobo. You know what I mean? And it's literally where you at. I'm not saying you ain't leaving with shit. You, <laughs> no, no, no. But it's more so just, you You, you just, this, you getting there. You getting there. Bottom line, clarifying this three of cups, this... Celebration card, this third party shit. Three threes. Top, bottom, and we got this clarifying this. So, we got the three of swords. So, it's just the heartache, heartbreak card. But I mean, it, it comes with the demo. This is the good side, this is the dark side. You know, this is the heads of the quarter, this is the tails of the quarter. Like, shit happens. You know what I mean? It's just the fall of the, uh, fall of the dime, fall of the quarter right now. Yeah, I ain't gonna ask the universe two questions on this because I think it's about spent. But all I really want to relay is, like I say, keep them blue blockers on while you move it. And um, it's Lucy Lou on, Joe. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>